Hello my fellow YouTubers, this is Matsukai from Matsukai Studios and this is welcome to my first ever vlog. So, hi. This is me. <clears throat> um, this is also my first ever Q&A or my questions and answers. Uh, if you guys have seen in the last week or so, I've been talking about how I've been wanting to do a new video and it's something each and every week for you guys. Um, I've asked you to either post it on my channel page as a comment or shoot me just a private message on YouTube. A uh, question about me, about WoW, about any video game, about just about anything. And I will be more than happy to answer it for you. So this is my first and ever lots of high Q&A session with me. Hi. Um, so without further ado i've got a couple questions here from some really cool uh youtubers um some of them are personal friends uh so i will without further starting i will answer them so my first one my first question is from my good friend madneck uh he asked me why horde well, I'll tell you, I always actually wanted to play Horde when I first started playing WoW. Um, unfortunately, the person that got me into playing WoW uh, had an Alliance character, so and he didn't want to switch. So I played, I started on Alliance. I always didn't hate it. Or it was okay, but I really wanted to play Horde, but he would never switch, so. I played a night elf before, um, and then I uh, quit for a little bit, and when I came back, um, one of my old friends on the server ended up asking me to, you know, hey, why don't you come over to this other server, and I'm also playing on the horde side, so you should totally come join us. So I did, I made a, like, level one blood elf hunter on Uther and I leveled her up and I love the Horde. Um, they're so much cooler. I love the people there are better. Um, Horde is just freaking awesome. Thrall is cool. Grimash is cool. Just Horde is just so much better. So and that's just how I am. And I also played uh, Warcraft 1, 2, 3 and I play Orcs. I like them. I never played humans. So they're just lame. I played them just to get through the storylines, but I like the orcs better because I like, for one, I like the dragons in Warcraft 2. I did like that a lot. So there was that, but that's why I wanted to play Horde. And I've been Horde ever since I switched. Um, no, I do not play my Hunter anymore. About the time she reached level 80, um, they came out with faction change, so I ended up switching my priest to uh, the other server and my faction changed to Horde, so my hunter is now my redheaded stepchild. <laughs> so that is why I play Horde. So thank you, Madneck, and make sure that you check out his awesome channel, which will be over on this side. I haven't quite figured out. It's all backwards on the webcam, so it should be should be on this side. <laughs> of the video I'm featuring them. So make sure you definitely check their videos out. Um, Mad Knight, he does a lot of gameplays of uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and his commentary is really cool. I love him. Um, especially when he plays Fallout 3 and sings about feral ghouls. So check out Mad Knight and thank you for your question. Alright, so my next question is from Holo Grunt. He asks, what got you started into gaming? Well, hello Grunt. Um, I grew up in Ohio, that's where I was born. Um, I pretty much, I was an only child for the first six years of my life. Um, and I pretty much grew up with my cousin, who was a guy. And he liked to play games and stuff, so we used to play, um, we used to go over to his house and play, um, his Super Nintendo, we used to play Mario, of course, Mario Brothers. Um, and when we moved, 
And then my brother was born, um, you know, just kind of set in. My dad and my mom both played games. My mom was computer games. My dad always played the board games and stuff. So it's kind of, I guess it's all in the family, if you will. Um, so I've always been around in games, whether PC, console or not. Um, my first ever system that was actually mine was the Nintendo 64 and then uh, Zelda. Ocarina of Time, Image of the Mask, uh, Mario Kart, Mario 64, played all of them. Um, then of course now I have every single system. I have the PS1, 2, 3, I have the Xbox 360, I have of course a PC, um, and the Wii. And I'm pretty much, that's where I got started Paul again. Paul also asked me, um, what also got me started into commentating. Uh, what got me into commentating was when um, I decided to be a little bit more involved in YouTube. Um, Silent Risings actually found my channel and I was like, uh, I think I had like 10 subscribers. And I was just making little videos here and there for of my guild just killing bosses in WoW. And just kind of having fun with the maker and just practicing my horrible editing skills with that. Um, he ended up finding me, and then I was watching one of his promo videos, and um, one of them asked if you're interested in trying commentating and being a guest commentator, you have to send me a message, and I figured, you know, what better way to be a part of the community and be more involved, and I sent him a message, asked him if I'd like to try commentating, um, see if I could do it for one. Uh, give it a try. If I was terrible at it, well, then I would never do it again. But that's kind of how I started commentating. I did his third promo, uh, Together to the Top uh, weekly thing with Lively's Productions as well as Tissue Backstreet, who doesn't know he's part of YouTube anymore. But that was my first ever commentating. And I actually enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't as nerve-wracking as I thought it was going to be. And I liked it. And it also gave me a chance to see so many different people and channels in the world. And I loved it. And so that's kind of how I got into commentating. It was just say, hey, I'm going to try it. There we go. So that was for all. Those two questions were for Holo Grunt. Make sure you check out his channel. He's got some League of Legends gameplays going on. Um, he doesn't have a logo, so make sure you come up with a logo picture so I have something. Should have had something to feature here. So, you do that. So, make sure you check him out. Alright, so my next question is from a good friend of mine, Wild Girl 6 She asked me, Where did you come up with my username? My username Matsukai actually um, is my priest's name. Uh, basically, how I came up with her name um, was when I was actually transferring her to the other server, to my new server, and um, when I was switching over to Horde, I had to, you know, they gave me an option to change my name. And the name I had before I didn't quite like. So, I did what a lot of people do. I ended up looking up some Japanese words and I think I think it's a play. I added just like a couple of letters to a word that I found and it's a Japanese word for like heavenly or heavenly being or holy one or something like that. I don't quite remember but I added like a few letters. I think I added the I or the A. I don't remember. But figured because at the time I was a holy priest, so I was healing, it was holy, whatever. So that's basically where her name came from. So make sure you check out Wild Girl Six's channel. She's another female gamer. Um, she was the community pick uh, a couple weeks ago on Silent Rising's. Um, a promo video the top three of the week so she's really cool um of course she's another female gamer she plays wow 
and she's actually got a really cool collection going on. She's creating um, little sexy outfits for, um, if you know, there's no in 4.3. When that comes out, there's going to be transmogrification. So she's um, put some collections of cute little outfits on her little blood elf. Uh, just little outfits that you could um, have ideas for if you want, you know, a cute little different play style for when you can basically have whatever you want showing instead of you know just going back to an old tier which I know I'm like that's probably what I'm going to do but make sure you definitely check out her channel she's really cool and she's very active in our community so check out Ball Girl Sucks. All right the next question is from Juggy Bear Live. Juggy Bear asks I know a lot of people are against the pandas and Lao for the new expansion, regardless of the Warcraft 3 showing. So my question for you is, how do you feel about the pandas, and do you plan on making one at all? Well, for one, I'm a girl. Pandas are cute. They're fluffy. They're big. They're fluffy. Um, yeah. I I like I like pandas. They are cute. Um. My idea of them on the new expansion, um, I did look at some of the new trailers that they released and um, what like the new worlds are going to look like. Um, for one, I'm really happy on what the environment looks like. It's kind of got that like Asian kind of look to it. Um, it's actually really pretty with all the Asian architecture that they designed into them. Um, um, the plants. I noticed the trees. My first thing that I really noticed was the cherry blossom trees because it's like one of my favorites. Um, I do like that. Um, on the idea of the pandas, uh, they are part of the lore. They are periodly just part of Warcraft lore and if you have a problem with that then you'd have a problem with everything because well it is part of the lore and I'm a lore geek. I follow it. I've read the books. I've read a lot of the books. Um, I actually need to pick up the Warrior one. Uh, but it is part of the lore. The Pandarans are totally part of it. If you played Warcraft 3, you know they are. The Pandoran monk. He's badass. He's really cool. I played Dota's. I usually pretty much was always the Pandaren monk. And to answer your second one, do we plan on making one at all? Um, I do. Uh, just I'm going to probably make a Pandarian monk, just because I want to know the, how the play style of monk is, of course. Um, just to try it. Um, and I want to see how a panda is. I want to roll around, and I want, you know, I want to try it out. I want to roll around and be soft and fluffy and cute so yes I will probably make one will it be my newest uh, character my name no I do I am very much in love with my blood elf priest um, she won't be changing but I will probably definitely play a panda monk though just for as an alt just to try it so I'll definitely do that so Thank you, Jug Juggy Bear Live. Um, make sure you check out his channel. Um, does he is another fellow WoW player? Make sure you check out his videos. He's got some gameplay, some PvP and stuff. So check him out. All right. So my last question of the day or for the week um, is from Ironically Mature. Now he uh, asked me a very uh, ponderous question, so I might wanna. Definitely listen carefully to this one. He asks, If I take a cloning machine back in time and clone something like a cake, will said cake be a future item or a past item? Well, I guess if you took a cake... Hmm. Well, if you brought a cake from the future and cloned it, then I guess it would be a future cake, and the cake that you cloned would also be a future cake. Because it's a clone of a future cake. But if you took a cake from the time you went back to, then it would be a past cake. He also asks, I, mean, I don't quite get these questions myself sometimes. 
as in if I travel through time and stop myself from going back in time for the first time, would there still be two cakes in the timeline? No, there would not, because if you stopped yourself from cloning one there, well, hmm. Depends. If you brought a cake with you when you went to go stop yourself, then yes, there would be two cakes. If you didn't, then there thus there would only be one cake. But I guess it all depends. He also asked me to, um, have you ever had any humorous nicknames? Yes, I have. Um, everybody has. Um, he also asks us, so, like what? Um, well, shorty for one, because I'm short. Really short. Um, always been short. Um, I don't know. Everybody does call me Matsukai now, or Matsu. Um, I don't know if that counts as a humorous nickname. Um, and then called Ninja. Um, my boyfriend calls me Semishyam, Semishyam, all the time. And I guess it's more of a pet name, but it kind of gets annoying after a while. Um, nicknames, nicknames. I'm not sure. Um, and I called that girl, Hey Girl. Um, I actually got a nasty nickname from the YouTube judge the other time. He told me I looked like somebody that he judged. But I won't go there because I love the YouTube judge and I forgave him because he did say sorry. But I won't tell you what he called me. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. My newest nickname too is the Turtle Girl, Turtle Queen. Um, basically anything like that because of my Turtle Tribute song. For when I got 100 subscribers, I sang this song. I got a lot of requests to do a full version of my turtle song that I did for one of my guides. So I'm guessing now the turtle girl. Um, but that's pretty much all I can think of for nicknames. Most of them kind of have to do with my size. Um, fun size is another one. Um, yeah, not too many. Oh, klutz. I'm a huge klutz. I trip over my own two feet. I trip over air. I can fall up the stairs. I can fall down the stairs. I can do pretty much anything like that. Um, I haven't broken a bone in my body, though. Not yet. So I'm a professional faller, I guess. So thank you Ironically Mature for your question and that is the last question of this week. So uh, make sure you check out Ironically Mature, he does some other gameplays. Um, he does some first person shooter ones, he's also got a couple of uh, funny videos on there of him cosplaying. So I think he cosplays as Cloud and Sasuke and he has a really really cute little dog that is just adorable that he did in those 22 item things. So make sure you check out his video and or videos the channel and like favorite subscribe favorite to all these things um to me of course would be nice. Um <clears throat> so make sure uh, I want to do this every week for you guys. Uh, send me more questions please I didn't get too many this week and I know I kind of didn't um, market it too well and put a lot of emphasis of trying to get a lot of questions. But make sure this week you guys definitely show me some questions because Turtle Girl wants to do some work. I want to. I want to do it for you guys. I want to feature you. I want to answer your questions. And don't you guys want to know more about me? I know you do. So make sure you guys do that. Um, and before I go, yes is my favorite, favorite person in the whole wide world who is not a person. This is my doggie, Shelby Boo. Or Shelby. I call her Shelby Boo. She seems kind of camera shy. She's like, let me, let me know, let me know, let me know. See, I was sleeping. Why you gonna wake me up? So, say hello. 
Hello, hello world. I am Shelby Boo. Hello, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to all these awesome people. Put your head to the camera. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. So, make sure you guys send me in your questions. You can email them to me at matsukai at silentrisings.com. Um, or you can just send me a PM mess private message on YouTube, or you can put it in my channel comments. Um, it can be about anything. It can be about WoW, video games. It can be about my doggy. It can be about anything. Um, I don't know top secret government things, so don't ask me. I don't know that stuff, and even if I did, I probably wouldn't say anything because I'd probably have to die after that. Or, and I'd probably have to shoot you guys too, so I don't really want to do that. Thanks again for watching my Q&A. So send in your questions and make sure you keep your head up and do the right thing. And catch us all on the Silent Risings Network. Thanks a lot and have a great week, you guys.